Hello everybody, this is Scott Solomon with Board Preppers and today I'm going to talk about how to simplify congestive heart failure. And I think we got to start out by first identifying or talking about the fact that when we're dealing with pathology of the heart, it is a systemic problem. So it's going to affect the whole body bilaterally and equally. Um, Gravity does play a part in showing off some symptoms, so and I'll talk about that in a little bit uh, in a little bit more detail in just a second. So what I've got drawn is my heart. It's kind of simple, but what it is is I try to identify first of all what's happening. So I've got the uh, right atrium and the left atrium and the right ventricle and the left ventricle. All right, just <clears throat> to keep it straight. So what happens is I have blood coming in here. I have blood going out there. I have blood coming in here, and I have blood coming out there. So again, the heart is very simple. It really is just a matter of a pump. It has two sides to it, and when it contracts, this contracts, and then these contract, you get the squeezing effect, almost like a ringing of the heart muscle. So what goes on here is in the right atrium, what's coming, the blood coming to the right atrium is from the feet. So it's coming from the feet. And when it comes out of the right ventricle, it's going to the lung. Pretty simple, right? When it's coming into the left atrium, it's coming from the lung. And what's going out of the left ventricle is going back to the feet. So what we've had is just a pretty big cycle, right? When we have problems with congestive heart failure, we can tend to identify either right side or left side heart failure. But the reality is as that progressive disease moves forward in its uh, process, it, it's going to affect the whole system. It's not gonna just affect the, uh, the arterial side or the venous side. It really becomes a holistic thing. So with that being said, as blood cannot, as, as the right side of the heart's not working properly, blood doesn't come out of the feet like it should and back into the heart. And as a result, we get edema, right? And here we go. As the, as the left side's not working, if, if I can't get blood out to the feet and I can't get it out into, from the lung back into the heart, I end up with edema, right? So the obvious part is, is where blood's coming from and it's not moving like it should, we end up with a backup and that backup causes hydrostatic pressure increase and then edema, both in the lung as the left side's more affected um, and then in the bilateral lower extremity, which I said the feet or where gravity takes over uh, if the right side is focused. However, over time, all of these symptoms will present. Um, if I can't get blood to the lung, it causes congestion. And congestion is in all organs. And if I have congestion, that means I'm not moving enough blood into those organs, and I end up, it's like a traffic jam, right? I can't get to work. It takes longer. So um, the same concept with congestion. It happens in all the organs, and it ends up causing organ failure, particular uh, renal failure, all right? Um, and, of course, you can look up signs and symptoms of renal failure, but at the end of the day, that's one of the big uh, problems with uh, CHF is the kidneys are affected by it. And then the last part is, um, as far as PT, because this is really what this is about, is physical therapy, um, if the blood, if the heart cannot, the left ventricle cannot move blood to the rest of the body, or in this case, the feet like it's supposed to, we end up with a few symptoms you should be aware of. We end up with shortness of breath. We end up with a severe, a severe fatigue. Um, and we end up with claudication. And again, you know, there's a host of little symptoms, but these are the big ones. If you can remember that, right, that heart failure in general produces bilateral lower extremity edema and pulmonary edema um, from the top side of this projection, and then the bottom side, it causes congestion in all of our organs, which again causes problems uh, outside of just having a failing heart. And then for, for therapy-wise, we have to worry about a shortness of breath, even like a dyspnea upon assertion, fatigue, um, and claudication, which is definitely going to hinder progress as we move through uh, physical therapy. So, and again, the, some of the thought back in the day was that physical therapy may be dangerous for congestive heart failure, but more and more research now demonstrate that activity and exercise is the best thing we can do 
for congestive heart failure. It just has to be in a controlled environment. Anyway, so with that being said, that's the basic simplification of congestive heart failure. Your primary symptoms you should look at and think about. All right, I've been asked to put my face on camera, and so this is what I'm going to do. So get the focus. There we go. My name is Scott Solomon. Again, I'm the founder and CEO of Board Preppers. I want to thank you personally for watching my little video series that we've been putting out into the Facebook world. Um, we do have new classes starting up at the end of October that will go for the January exam. If you have questions or concerns, please go to our website, www.boardpreppers.com. Um, we are having a special registration promotion going on, so please go check it out. Again, my name is Scott. I appreciate your time. I look forward to future uh, mini-series with you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.